Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Hannah and today we'll be reading cat books. I'm really excited to read all about cats. We got this first one, Pete the Cat, and then we'll be reading Kitten's First Full Moon. They're both really good, so let's get started. Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons by James Dean and story by Eric Litwin. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with his four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much he sang this song. One, two, three, four. That's why Pete is singing number four. He's got four buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped up and rolled away. So how many buttons are left? Hmm. Three. Because four minus one is three. One, two, three buttons left. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons just come and go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Hmm. Two. Because three minus one is two. One, two. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Let's find out. One. Two minus one is one. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero! That was the last button. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked at his buttonless shirt and what do you think he saw? Hmm, let's find out. His belly button. And he kept on singing his song. See, there's Pete's belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show you that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness no. We keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. The end. Was that a fun book? I love Pete the Cat. I just think he's so much fun. So now we'll be doing a short little rhyme called Five Little Kittens. Five little kittens, all black and white, sleeping very soundly throughout the night. 
Meow, 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 meow. It's time to get up now. The next book we'll be reading is Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hanks. This is a really fun book and I think you'll like it too. So let's dig in. Kitten's First Full Moon. It was Kitten's first full moon. When she saw it, she thought, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky and she wanted it. See, that's what little Kitten's looking at. So she closed her eyes and stretched her neck and opened her mouth and licked. But Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor Kitten. See, there's all the little bugs. One two, three, four, five. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she pulled herself together and wiggled her bottom and sprang from the top step of the porch. But Kitten only tumbled, bumping her nose and banging her ear and pinching her tail. Poor Kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But Kitten never seemed to get closer. Poor Kitten. Hmm, I wonder what that bowl of milk could be. Let's find out. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she ran to the tallest tree she could find and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top. But Kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk and now she was scared. Poor Kitten, what could she do? Aw, I feel bad for Kitten. Let's see what happens next. Then in the pond, Kitten saw another bowl of milk and it was bigger. What a night! Hmm. So this bowl of milk must be a reflection from this one up here. So she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and raced to the edge of the pond. She leaped with all her might. Poor kitten. She was wet and sad and tired and hungry. Aw, I feel bad for our friend kitten. So she went back home. And there was a great big bowl of milk on the porch. Just waiting for her. Lucky kitten. The end. Weren't those fun books? I really like those cat books and I hope you did too. But now it's time to say goodbye. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye everyone. I'll see you next time.